Hi cuties, and happy almost Valentine's Day. Because this holiday is known for such sweet treats and love, I decided that I'm gonna love myself and make myself a sweet treat tonight while in my very festive pink fuzz, that was a fail, fuzzy, okay, third time's a charm, fuzzy robe. Okay, what am I making? I kind of came up with this idea because I found my silken tofu in the fridge that says best if used by February 25th, 2019, so it's sneaking up on me real quick. I've never used silken tofu before. Apparently it's a lot different than normal tofu, so here we go, trying stuff new again. I love trying new things and trying to make food from the camera because I typically surprise myself, which is super fun. So anyway, I still haven't told you what I wanna make. I remember seeing recipes where people made like dessert mousse out of tofu and cocoa powder. And I was thinking I wanted to make that, but I also wanted to make it kind of like more Valentine's Day-y. So I kind of want to use some frozen cherries to make like a cherry and a chocolate. So then it would be like dark chocolate covered cherry mousse, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm not using measurements. I haven't done this before. We're just gonna like give it a shot. You know, stuff like this, I know I've said this before, but I just really feel like it's hard to go wrong when it's just like sweet. Like when you're using such few ingredients and they like kind of make sense, like I'm not really worried. If I can figure out how to open this bitch first. It should not be this hard to open a cardboard container. Jeesh. Ooh, instead of mixing the chocolate and cherry, maybe I'll do like half cherry, half chocolate and try to do like a cute little layer look. I'm also worried though, cause I only have one box of this, so can't really get too fancy with the amount. Good thing it's all for me, right? Oh, this shit is kind of disgusting. It's so watery and flimsy. Whoa. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use a butter knife and simply cut this block in half. That was so easy, it's so soft. <laughs> it's so slimy. <laughs> Ugh, okay. So, got my handy dandy little mini blender thing. We'll put that in. Then I have Hershey's cacao powder, 100% dark cacao. I'm just gonna take like a spoonful of it. This is like super rich, like actually dark. So I don't know, what do you think? Like one heaping spoonful first and we'll see how it works. A dash of vanilla, because I feel like that's just what you do in dessert. A little bit of cinnamon. Again, it just, it just sounds right to me. I put cinnamon on everything sweet. And I have like some maple syrup, but I don't know if I should use it. So I'm gonna like try to mix shit first and see what happens and like, you know, taste test or something. I don't know. All right, let's blend her up. I don't think this is working. Mm, we might be disappointed already. I feel like it's too dry. Do I dare add a touch of water? I dare. Like the powder is just sticking all over the walls of this bottle. So maybe the water will help a little bit. Or ruin it, who knows? Oh, this smells real good, cocoa powder. It's like still really chunky and like spread out. I like don't know if this blender thing is working. Ugh, that is so dry or like bitter and plain. I'm definitely adding some syrup. I don't know how much that was. I just kind of poured y'all. I'm becoming a little bit doubtful, so. This sucks. Okay, this bottom layer is looking like promising. This is all looking disgusting. We're gonna shake and go again. Oh, that's much better. Now I kinda want a little bit more cocoa because I kinda taste the syrup. All right, hopefully the last mix. Okay, it looks a little liquidy, but say to like let it sit in the fridge for an hour after you make it to like mousseify it, so. I'm gonna be done with the chocolate one and move on to the cherry. 
Okay, just by like licking my spoon, I already think that silken tofu is like underrated, which is totally fine for me to lick my spoon, by the way, because I'm making this for myself, no one else. Mom. Anyway, if it can literally be dessert and there's like, in this whole pack, there's only 200 calories, 24 grams of protein, like, that's a healthy dessert. Okay, round two. The second, ugh, slimy half of the tofu block. And then I just have a bag of Trader Joe's frozen cherries here. I'm gonna put like five, six in there. Which by the way, if you ever need like a healthy dessert, just snacking on these babies when they're frozen, so good. Mm, they're so sweet. Okay, I put six cherries in there, the block of tofu. I'm gonna see what happens with just this first before adding anything else. Okay, this blender is not as strong as like a food processor, so it's taking me a lot of shake in. But my food processor is so big, so I hate putting like tiny meals in there, because then you just gotta like scrape it off the edge and that's all you got when you're done. Kinda annoying. All right, I'm giving in and adding a little bit of water. Barely any though. That helped a lot. It's doing the same thing as the chocolate where it's just getting down here. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep shaking and mixing for a little bit. I was hoping for this to be a little bit more like red, but this is still such a pretty color. Like a periwinkle. It's still Valentine's Day. -y. Okay, I wanna taste it now because I'm praying that it tastes like cherry. Mm. No, that does not taste good. Ugh. Dang it! Let's add some more and see what happens. Okay, I have like 15 total cherries in here now, so let's try it again. See if it tastes any better. Definitely a lot like sweeter, but I can still taste the tofu. I don't know like why the cocoa powder was so much stronger and like took out the taste, but this cherry is just like so much harder. So I'm gonna add more. And again, see what happens. Round three. Mm. Okay, that's good. I literally have like 25 cherries in there. Just having silken tofu and cherries and it being like this sweet now, it's literally just like a protein smoothie. Like, that's incredible. Yeah, I don't know what qualifies a mousse as a mousse. Maybe it's like fluffier when it sits in the fridge after this, but... Right now, it's just pretty smoothie like Hi, I'm back. So I let them sit separately in the freezer for like 20 minutes, and they have like an icy layer on the top, but they're not frozen, so... Ooh. The cherry one looks pretty moussey, actually. Like, I don't think you can probably see in there, but it almost looks kind of whipped. Yay, I'm pleasantly surprised, as I had hoped. So I did a chocolate layer a cherry layer, and then another chocolate layer to make it super pretty. And then, to make it beautiful, I wanna add a couple of cherries right on top. Oh my God, this is so cute. And I just made it up. Well, I didn't like discover it, but I literally just used cocoa powder, vanilla, a little bit of maple syrup and the tofu for this, and then cherries and tofu for that. The chocolate one's much better than the cherry one. I should have added sweetener to the cherry, but it's still like good. So I'm gonna take a pick of that because camera eats first, BRB. Okay, now I deserve to eat it. Here's what a bite looks like. Oh my God. It's so good. I wanna get some of the cherry one like with the chocolate. Yum. This is like actually like the perfect Valentine's Day healthy vegan dessert. Mm. Not just saying it, I am impressed with myself. Sitting in the fridge is 200% necessary by the way. I let it sit for like a good hour after mixing them and that gave them more of like this like fluffy mousse texture rather than like smoothie. Oh my God, I have a brain freeze. 
And now I'm super intrigued by silken tofu. I'm definitely gonna go out and buy some more because I really wanna try some now with peanut butter powder to make like a peanut butter chocolate mousse mix. That would be so good. Dude, I might eat all of this. Okay, well I didn't actually use a specific recipe so I can't like link it below, but I might tell you like just what ingredients I use so you can play with them if you want. I would love more recipes like this. So if you guys have any recommendations or like super simple, healthy vegan desserts, I'm all for trying this shit. So let me know and let me know if you try this one and if it works and if you like it. I'm gonna go pig out and watch some Hulu. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all and I will see you next video. Bye guys.